Hello, my name is Nikita. I'm Andre, and we study at IBSB, which is the International British School of Eucharist. Uh, today we're going to be investigating the pH of all these uh, different substances, and uh, we're going to be using red cabbage juice as the universal indicator. That's right, let's, let's get right into it. Started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is cut this red cabbage up with a knife, then we're going to juice it using this slow juicer, and uh, then we're going to make solutions using all these different stuff. How alkaline. Uh, or how alkaline yeah. the substance is. Yeah. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, I think right, we'll start like this. So, this one's for the science geeks. The way the universal indicator works is that it has four compounds. One of them is methyl red, which is red at pH levels of under 5 and yellow at pH levels of over 5. It provides orange and red hues to the universal indicator solution at low pH. Bromothymol blue is blue at pH levels of over 6 and yellow at pH levels of under 6. It gives blue and indigo hues at high pH. Its endpoint is therefore around pH 6. Thymol blue has two endpoints. It is red below pH levels of 2, blue at pH levels of over 8, and yellow in the middle. Thymol blue allows Universal Indicator to differentiate low and very low pH by providing another red hue below pH 2. It also combines bromothymol blue, which it helps give it a green color in the okay, middle. Okay, so here we have soap. Uh, this is lemon juice. This is uh, apple vinegar, and uh, this is um, uh, rice vinegar. This is sodium bicarbonate, and this is uh, ammonium. Ammonium. Uh, ammonium. ammonium uh. Finally, venophthalene gives universal indicator a deep violet color at very high pH. Now, so uh, let's decide. This right here is an alkali, definitely. Yes. Uh, this is an acid. This is an acid. Acid as well. This, this two are uh, same pH. similar as like same they're pH. both vinegars. Uh, and these two are um, uh, alkaline. Yeah. And thanks for watching our video. This was our experiment, and hope you liked it.